This is how to make expression menu toggles for VRChat avatars. First of all, go to Window, Animation, and open the Animation tab. Then select the root of your avatar. You're going to click this Create button here and call the animation whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to toggle a cube. Next, I'm going to add the object I want to toggle. In this case, I'm going to do a cube. I'm also going to attach it to the head. Next, with the cube selected, I'm going to turn off the cube. Press the record button on the animation, enable the cube, and then disable the record button. Now we have an animation that turns on the cube. Then I'm going to go to my assets and look for the animation I did. Here it is. I'm going to duplicate it and rename it to off. I'm going to click on the off one, make sure it's named here. And then for any keyframe, make sure the timeline head is on that keyframe and set it to zero. Now we have a on and off animation. You can close out of the animation tab. And next we are going to go to the animator tab. Then click on the avatar. And on the inspector, you should see playable layers. There's a good chance that if you're using an existing avatar base, it'll already have an FX controller. I usually do recommend duplicating this so you don't screw up the original one. In this case, I will duplicate it and bring it over here. I will then also replace it here. Using the existing one is kind of important if you want to uh, utilize any existing functionality. Usually this has to do with the hand uh, gestures for facial expressions. But either way, with that FX controller selected, we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call it BT. We're going to click the cog and set the weight to one. And then we're going to right click in the empty area and do create state from new blend tree. I'm going to rename this blend tree to layers. I'm going to click into the blend tree. I'm also going to rename it layers here. I'm going to change the blend type to direct. And then I'm going to add a blend tree. Next, we're also going to go to parameters, add a new float and call it BTD stands for blend tree default. Set its value to one and put it at the top of the list. Then select your layers, change this parameter to a BTD. Next, we're going to add a float and we're going to call it cube toggle or whatever you want to call it. On the sub blend tree, I'm going to rename it to cube toggle. We're going to keep it on 1D. I'm going to select the parameter cube toggle. Then we're I'm going, going to add two motion, motion fields. fields. I recommend turning off automate thresholds. Then we are going to take our cube toggle and animations and put them in here. So zero is off and on is one. That's all we need to do for the animator. And now we can just set it up in the expressions menu. I'm going to click on the avatar once more. I'm going to customize my expressions. And then I need to create parameters and a menu item. There's a really good chance that your avatar also already has these if you're using a pre-made base. So you can just duplicate them and swap them out. In this case, I'm going to create VRChat avatars parameters. And I'm going to do the same thing for menu. Then I can drag them over into these slots. In the parameters, we're going to add a parameter. We're going to call it cube toggle, the same as in the parameters for our FX controller here. We're going to make it a bool. And by default, it will be off. It will be saved and it will be synced. Syncing allows it to synchronize with the other players. Now that that's added, we can go to the expressions menu, add a control. I'm going to name it to cube. I'm going to change it to toggle so it stays on or stays off. And then the parameter is going to be cube toggle bool. Now that should be it. And I'm going to test with the gesture manager. You can get the gesture manager by going into your project in the VCC. And in my case, it's already enabled. Um, but you should be able to find it here by default uh, and just press the plus button. I'm going to go into packages and search for gesture manager, all one word, set it to packages. And here, this prefab, I'm going to drag in. I'm going to enter play mode. All right, now that we're in play mode, I can show you the expression. And there we go, it works. It's not exactly in the right position, uh, but that's just a thing I can change. So if I go to cube, change its position, bring it back up, press play, go to the gesture manager, expressions cube. Okay, I reset its scale, but that's fine. Either way, you get the point. We now have a toggle that works. And now, 
going forward with the blend tree method, you can just keep adding blend tree layers here. You can just keep adding blend tree layers here. As simple as, and I'll show you, if I wanted to add another cube. I'll add another cube. I'm going to call it cube two. I'm going to add it in the same place. I'm going to reset its transformation. I'm going to scale it down and bring it over here. I'm going to turn it off. Animation, animation. I'm going to click on this drop down and do create new clip. Under animator toggles, I'm going to call it cube two on. I'm going to record on off. I'm going to go to my project, duplicate it. Rename it to off, select it, put this to zero, making sure that it's on the keyframe. Okay, and I'm going to go to my animator. I'm going to make a new parameter called cube two toggle. In my layers, I'm going to make a blend tree. This blend tree is going to be called cube two toggle. I'm going to add two motion fields, turn off automate thresholds. I'm going to set the parameter to cube toggle. I'm going to put cube two on and one and off zero. That should be it for that. I go to my parameters. I add cube two toggle bool menu, add control, cube two toggle, cube two toggle. All right. And now gesture manager play. And there we go. We have two different cubes that I can toggle. Just to explain as an extra, um, you can do more than toggles. So you can do integer, integer states. So if you have multiple sets of clothing or anything like that, you can add more motion layers or motion fields rather. Um, and you can constantly add layers to this. And then the other big benefit of doing the blend tree is that you save performance. If you were to say have 50 toggles and you add 50 layers, those 50 layers have a static amount that they reduce performance. And when you combine it into a single blend tree, it can massively save performance. And also, in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to do this. Obviously, the downside is that you can't really use this as a state machine. Um, so if you need more complex logic, I think it's completely fine to make a separate layer and do a traditional state machine. Um, but for anything that's just a basic toggle or going or especially blending between two things like a hue slider, um, blend tree is the way to go here. Hopefully that helped, and if it did, please make sure to like, and if you'd like to see more of this, please consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.